everyone today we will learn about the prepositions definition of the prepositions a preposition is a word which tells about the position of a thing or a person it tells where a person or place is for example by with beside in on etc now let us talk about the sum of the common prepositions we use in our daily life first one is at it shows exact time of an event a meal time or festivals but not the eves or days for example she will go at 7 her at describes the exact time of her going i will serve sandwiches at breakfast her breakfast is a meal time so we will use at with it at christmas a tree is decorated known as the xmas tree here a festival is described that is not a eve or day the second one is in in represents season month or year it may also describe an object that is within the radius of something like in winters in june in 1947 Here it is describing season, month, or year. The ball is in the box. Here the ball was within the radius of the box, so we will use in with it. Now we will describe a simple rule. We always use at, with, noon, and night. even with the midnight we only use at while we use in with morning afternoon and evening now the third preposition is on it represents dates or days it may also describe a object that is on the surface of anything else for example on monday on jan 26 here it is describing a day and a date so we will use on with it now the third example is apple is on the box here apple is touching the surface of the box so we will use on with it this is a simple diagram that shows in on and at with the different cases now the fourth preposition is between it is used with two things the ball is between two boxes here the ball is between means it is with the two things so we will use between with it fifth one is among it is very much similar to the between but in this more than two things are used for example here the ball is among many boxes means there were more than two things so we will use among as described here there were two boxes so we used between but here more than two boxes were there so we used a bo- among now the sixth one is under when an object is just vertically below another thing we use under for example her the kitchen is just below the table so we will use under the seventh one is over it is used when an object is just vertically above for example here the bird is just vertically above the tree so we will say over the tree 
now moving on to the uh, another preposition that is behind behind is used with an object which is at the back of somebody or something for example the cat is hidden behind the curtain means the cat is at the back of the curtain so we will use behind ninth preposition is beside to the next to or to the side of when an object is just to the side of the another object we use beside for example here the boy is standing just to the side of this mirror so we will use beside with it The next preposition is near that is used for close to for example here the school is near to the house so we will use near with it what is the difference between beside and near beside tab use hoga jab koi thing dusri cheez ke just side mein hogi या सटकर होएगी अगर हम नियर यूज करेंगे उसका मतलब होगा कि वो पास है लेकिन जरूरी नहीं कि वो एक साथ है द नेक्स्ट प्रपोजिशन इज बिसाइड इन एडिशन टू और एज वेल एज वेन समन हैज और इज डूइंग समथिंग सिमिलर टाइप बट अ डिफरेंट थिंग देन वी यूज बिसाइड फॉर एग्जाम्पल her the girl is learning kathak and ballet both are the dance forms but they are different cases so we will use besides learning kathak she also learns ballet as in addition to kathak she is also learning ballet the next preposition is far at a long distance from something you can take far as the opposite of near medical store is far from the school means medical store is some kilometers away from the school so we will use far with it the next preposition is into it is used when an object is moving to a position inside or in something it is used for movement for example this boy is jumping into the pool so we will use into as it is the movement but in is used when it is already the inside the next preposition is with with is used when something is in the company of somebody or something or also used for having using or carrying something for example she went to the market with me so someone went to the market in the company of mine so we will use with with it in the second example she was playing with doll she is using the doll or carrying it so we will use have with it moving on to the next preposition we will have by to the side of or to the next to you can consider by as the synonym of beside the example can be the same the boy is by the mirror or the boy is beside the mirror the next preposition is in the front of the side or surface of something or somebody that faces forward jo object kisi aur object ke samne rakha hai wo in the front of ho sakta hai you can consider it as the opposite of behind the apple is kept in the front of the box here apple is facing forward from the box so we will use in the front of the next preposition is for the purpose or reason behind something it is used for showing the purpose or reason behind having or doing something for example the gift is for her the reason for having the gift is that her the reason for having the gift is that is it is for her 
Now moving on to the next preposition that is of. It is used for showing the belonging. For example, this is an example of roots here. Of is used to show the belonging of example and fruits. Now here comes the last preposition to. It is used for the indication of the action from one place to another. It is used for the signification of the destination. I am going to the market. Here, market is my destination. So I will use to with it. Here is the first exercise for filling the blank with in, on or at. Here we need to fill with beside or besides. The next is for making at least two sentences by looking into the image. And the fourth one is to fill the appropriate preposition within bracket. The last one, the following sentences have the wrong preposition. Rewrite.